Good morning. Happy Friday. <laughs> another day, another end of a week, another weekend. Um, and still we slowly move through this fantastic chapter of 1 Corinthians 15. Uh, maybe you were not quite as absorbed and thrilled by the amazing music um, of the Messiah uh, with the last uh, thought from yesterday. But here we are towards the end of this chapter. We're on um, verse 52. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable and we shall be changed. For this perishable nature must put on the imperishable, and this mortal nature must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? Paul here is quoting two verses from the Old Testament. Um, he writes that they're written here as if they're one verse, but they're not. They're, they're two verses. One is from Isaiah 25 and the other from Hosea 13. Um, and he's talking about a future event. He's talking about when we will put on the immortal immortal <coughs> and we will change from perishable to imperishable when that resurrection moment happens whether we have fallen asleep beforehand or whether we are still awake and still alive when Jesus returns and we are given our new body as we uh, in that twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet <coughs> doesn't matter how it happens but <coughs> the thought that 800 years or so, maybe, maybe not quite as long ago as that, before Paul's time, Isaiah and Hosea wrote words that for them were talking about the future. And they were still talking about the future to Paul, and they're still talking about the future to us. Let me just read the Isaiah. The Hosea one is not quite so um, exactly a translation, and I think... It's quite likely that Paul used the uh, Septuagint translation of the Hebrew into Greek and therefore it has a slightly different um, uh, rendering. But here we are in Isaiah 25 <coughs> is, a, is a foretelling of the kingdom of God when it comes. Uh, on this mountain, verse 6, Isaiah 25, verse 6, on this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all people, peoples a feast of fat things, a feast of wine on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of wine on the lees well refined, and he will destroy on this mountain the covering that is cast off over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. Verse 8, he will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord will wipe away tears from all faces. Isn't that wonderful? That is wonderful. Death swallowed up in victory. The final victory of the Lord Jesus over, over death will be manifest when the resurrection of all happens. The victory is already achieved, but the full manifestation of it is not apparent yet because he hasn't returned yet. Where is your sting? Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? Jesus changed death forever. Jesus changed our expectation forever. Jesus changed everything. And just like the caterpillar must change into a butterfly in order to have its supreme life in the air, so we must change from what we are now into what God is holding for us in the future. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Death is swallowed up 
in victory. A wonderful phrase. That's a phrase to think about today. In your thoughts today, let that be your thought for the day. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, death, where is your victory? Where is it? It's, it? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Death was winning all those centuries from Adam right through to Jesus. Death was winning because nobody could defeat death. But Jesus has defeated death forever. And the final, uh, the final um, implementation of that, that death, that victory over death will be when all are raised to life and we shall be like Jesus, the first fruits of those who died, the first fruits raised to glory. Have a good day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.